today's video, I'm stealing Minecraft boss body parts in order to upgrade. If you ever wondered what's inside of a Ravager, a Wither boss, or the Ender Dragon, you're gonna find out today. We're also gonna see what happens when I put the Ender Dragon body parts inside of my body. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Beckbro Doctor is in the building. If you guys missed out on the first episode, I'm going to leave a link down to it in the description. But let me give you a quick overview of the brand new mod that Bessie had me install. It's pretty sweet and also slightly weird and disgusting. So if I right click with this brand new chest opener, I can actually open up my chest and I can see everything inside of my body. So obviously we got some ribs, we got some muscles, we got my heart. If I were to, let's just say, take out my heart, obviously. I start dying so we're gonna we're gonna place that back before I actually die today We have a ton of different minecraft mobs and also bosses that we're going to be uh, Basically operating on and stealing their body parts to upgrade myself. Hey Bessie you want me to operate on you? All right, fine ladies and gentlemen. I guess we're gonna have to operate on a bat. Yeah, it's my body. Come here little batty I want to turn to Batman. I really want to turn to Batman. Oh, I got I got I got okay Uh, so every single mob has different body parts obviously that I can steal some of them are good some some of them are really bad. So obviously this has uh, poor speed, poor strength. Uh, I don't even think I can steal its wings. I was hoping that I would maybe be able to fly. So yeah, there's really no point in stealing any of the bat's body parts. Next up, let's go ahead and try a horse. I've always wanted to be known as Beckbro Horse. So sometimes the target is a little bit too healthy for whatever reason, yet you, you gotta kind of like beat it down so then you can operate on it. And boom, we now can steal every body part from the horse. It's honestly not even worth it, ladies and gentlemen. I thought that the horse's muscles would be extremely fast compared to mine because it's a horse, but supposedly they're not. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna steal this spine and also it's heart. The cool thing is I can actually just steal hearts and then if I place it inside my body, as you can see, I have the horse hearts. And yeah, the, the horse can't really survive without his heart. I'm so sorry, horsey. Next up, let's go ahead and try a strider. Dude, wait a second. Okay, so these have fireproof muscles. Definitely gonna take some of those. Do not mind if I do. They have fireproof ribs. I actually think the entire strider's body is fireproof. Look, fireproof heart, fireproof lungs. We're gonna take the heart. We need, we need the heart. We're gonna take the intestines. We're actually just gonna take everything from the strider. And yeah, that's normally what ends up happening when you steal things, <laughs> especially vital organs from my Let's go ahead and open my chest and let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna place uh, I guess an extra heart We're gonna I guess we're gonna take out some of my ribs because I don't need all my ribs I think and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to replace my some of my muscles anyway with fireproof muscles Actually, let's do my other muscles too because they're the same amount of strength and resistance and it finally happened ladies and gentlemen So when you start putting organs in your body that aren't necessarily meant for a human you start to get organ rejection That's okay, though because now I am a fireproof zombie man it actually works. Look at this. Look at, okay, I'm obviously, I'm taking a little bit of damage, but not as much damage as I would be if I didn't have the fireproof heart and fireproof muscles. And if I replace my entire body with, with just the, the, the body parts of a strider, I don't think I would burn at all. And I would basically just be a strider. Let's go try out the wither skeleton. This one, I, I don't know if I tried out in the last episode. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna operate. It doesn't have any body parts i should have expected this later on in the video we are going to be testing it out on the wither boss so i'm really hoping that i can gain all of the wither boss's powers and just shoot wither skulls everywhere next up on the list a lot of you guys were commenting in the last episode that you wanted me to open a mushroom i don't know exactly why i think it actually has all the same organs as a normal cow except the outside of the mushroom is mushrooms but the inside is literally the same it has the same anatomy as a cow i don't know exactly why you can milk it for soup. I don't think, yeah, there, none of these organs say udders, so I really can't steal that. And then I, I really, yeah, I was hoping that maybe I could do that and then I could just like poop out infinite soup. But unfortunately, I can't do that weird thing today. Maybe tomorrow. This next one is gonna be a little bit difficult, so I think I should probably spawn it inside of my house. This is a phantom. And can I operate? Can I, oh no, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna have to just, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to just uh, do a little bit of that. Can I operate? Operate. Yes. Okay, the phantom's cavity. It has poor health, poor breath recovery, poor endurance. This thing is not healthy whatsoever. He's got to start eating some eggs, maybe a little bit of milk, and lots and lots of apples to keep the doctor away. Uh, all right, well, it, it's currently killing me, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take out its spine, which makes it so it cannot move, and the heart, which, yeah, that is the life force of every animal and creature today. So if I remove the heart and the spine, I can basically kill anything. I'm super excited for this next one. So you guys were commenting as well that I missed out on the shulker in the last episode. So, okay, can I operate? Nope, 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 nope. I cannot operate, and I'm slowly floating away. This is bad. 
bad, ladies and gentlemen. That's okay. We're gonna go, we're gonna come over here. I have extra hearts as well in my body. Okay, we're gonna need to move quick. Wow, dude. Okay, I really hope that I can gain the ability to shoot out those shulker things. Stop, stop, stop. Can I operate? Can I can I can I operate? I can. Nope. That was my chest. That's my chest. Shulker's chest cavity. It opened for like two seconds. All right, dude. Would you, just, would you stop eating me, please? Can you just chill for like two seconds, maybe? We gotta go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna operate. Three, two, one. Operate. Um. Yes. The shulker spleen. That is how they're able to shoot bullets. Everything else, I really don't need. I'm gonna steal its heart so it dies. As bad as that sounds, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta do it. This thing, it, it started it. Literally started shooting me for no good reason. That is why I, as Beck Road Doctor, decided to open up its chest and I stole its spleen and its heart. I'm not a very good person, but I am an extremely good doctor. I have my PhD in cookie eating, but not, not actually like doctor things. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a PhD in baking and making cookies. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up Beck Bro Jack's chest cavity. So I'm sort of running out of space here. Uh, what, what really, what don't I need? I guess we could take out another four ribs. We can always place them back later. So we're gonna add in the shulker spleen. Now if I, oh wait, wait, oh, it worked. It actually worked, no way. Dude, where is it going? Can I shoot myself with it? What happens if I run into it myself? Does it work? Am I controlling it somehow? How, d d well, okay, so, if, oh, well, there you go. What's up, donkey? This is the back row swap. Now I'm a flying talking donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's actually crazy. So I can, I can just shoot it. Wait, okay. So it looks like wherever I look, that's where the shulker pellet goes. What you looking at, Mushroom? It looked at me funny, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, we're gonna poop shulker bullets at it. <laughs> it, just, it just died. It just died. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to do it, but I need to do it for science. We have a wolf right here. Can I operate? Okay, I can operate. Perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave most of its body parts. I'm just curious to see if there's anything in here that I can maybe use. Um, it looks like everything. Ooh, it has carnivore intestines. So it looks like if I were to eat meat with the carnivore intestines, I would actually get extra saturation. Are you attacking me? Oh, well. Get shulker, boy. Oh, gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Next up, we're going to operate on an undead drowned creature. This thing is so unhealthy, but can it breathe underwater? It has lungs, right? Oh, no, no, no. It does. It, we're looking for gills. I'm pretty sure every single underwater creature has gills. I think because it's undead, it actually doesn't even need to breathe. What we can do, though, is try to operate on a puffer fish. I want to be Beckbro Puffer. Oh, no. No, wait, can I not operate on them? Are they, I think they might be too tiny and fragile. Oh, I'm not a fish doctor. I'm just like a doctor for everybody else. Well, this is a shame, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's okay. Next up, we can try an evoker, which oh, I, I remember I did this last time, and it is not fun. I'm pretty sure the evoker, by its skincare routine, you can probably tell, it is the most unhealthy thing other than a skeleton and a zombie. Look at it, dude. All right, it's just disgusting. We're gonna we're gonna have to take it out before it starts summoning in more things, and it's probably gonna try to kill me, even though I have like 18 hearts. It's the same story with the vexes, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys are wondering, there is no point in stealing a vex's body parts. Next up, we're gonna try our luck with the cave spider. I can. Oh no 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 no. Okay, that's that's my body. I wanna open up the cave spider. Ew, dude. Okay, so it's. Oh, it's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. Okay, I need to go ahead and operate. No, that's my body. Why do I keep doing it on my body? Okay, we're gonna operate. No, that's literally my body again. We're gonna take out. Okay, does it? it can it still move? I think I took out one of its uh, one of its vertebrae. You see, spiders, unlike every single other creature, they do not have spines. So unfortunately, I took out the oh, I took out its intestines, so it can no longer digest any of the food that it's biting off my body. Oh, we got a bunny, dude! In the last episode, this thing made me so fast. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope. it's really difficult to track down. Come here, bugs, bunny! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, dude! Come on, come on, dude! They, they run away every single time. They're so hard to get. I just want to operate on you. I am I'm I'm a certified cookie doctor that has nothing to do with actually operating, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Boom. Got, oh, okay. I forgot. You really can't operate on them because my chest openers, they, they don't really make a small size. That's why small creatures just kind of combust whenever I right click on them with the chest opener. But we are, however, able to collect all of the body parts. So we can go ahead and open up my, my chest again. And I guess we need to figure out what else we can remove. I don't think I need all of my intestines, just maybe three of them. So we're going to replace an intestine with a rabbit heart, which will make me just a tad bit faster and also give me some extra health. What about a chicken? I don't know if I've operated on a chicken quite yet. I want to see exactly how you make your eggs, Mr. Chicken. Well, all right, we're gonna act like that didn't happen. The next one, ladies and gentlemen, I am- Oh, I didn't do that. Chest opener, chest opener. Did I get it? Oh. 
Did I, can I put the gas tier in my body? We're gonna try this one more time in three, two, one. All right, we're gonna operate. Ew, dude, okay, so it has a gas bladder. I'm taking that, I'm taking that. Uh, let's take out the fireproof heart. We'll take out the spine so it can no longer move. This thing is just shooting me to death, but that's okay. Luckily, I still have the fireproof uh, muscles. What is this, a volatile stomach? Ghastly, I need to try that. Maybe that's how it's shooting out all these fireballs that are slowly and steadily burning down my house. I'm pretty sure cows have six different stomachs, so I guess Beck Bro Jack is now going to have two. We'll have my normal humanly stomach, and we will have a volatile stomach. Um, in, uh, what do I, I don't know. We're gonna take out another intestine, and we're gonna add another stomach, the volatile stomach. Does it work? Oh my gosh, it does! So I can spit out the, the, oh no, it almost attacked Bessie. I could spit out the shulker pellet of levitation and also a ghastly fireball. That is going to be super useful later on, ladies and gentlemen, especially against the next boss, the Ravager. Okay, we're just gonna shoot it directly. We're gonna shoot it directly. I don't know exactly how much health these have. I haven't fought too many in my life, but we're definitely gonna operate because I want whatever it has inside of its body. Stop it, stop it, stay back, stay back, levitate. Levitate, why did it just, it just it goes right through it? That's not cool, not cool, not cool. Please stay away. Please, 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 please stop following me, just stop following me for like two seconds, man. Why does it keep following me? It just keeps following me. It, it, uh, it, uh, luckily, I have the rabbit heart, so I'm like slightly faster than it. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try to levitate again. Levitate, levitate, levitate. It can't be levitated, cannot be levitated. The shulker pellet is inbound, but this thing is way faster. No, not today. Hello. Is he still? Oh, he's still coming for me, isn't he? There's no way he sees me. He sees me. He sees me. He sees me. Inside my house I go. Oh, thank you for coming. I am going to operate on you. Dr. Cookie is here and he is going to make you feel better. Okay, how'd you, how'd you hit? He literally hit me through a wall. I have opened the Ravager's chest. Okay, so it has brutish muscles, average speed, exceptional strength. Definitely taking all those. I'm also going to take out spine so it stops moving. Let's see if this is gonna work. So I'm just gonna replace, I guess, some of my normal muscles with brutish muscles. I guess I don't really need too many fireproof muscles, so we'll take out some of those and I guess add in even more brutish muscles. Now, in theory, I should do a lot more damage. Let's test it out. Hello, sir. I have your muscles and I also have your spine. I would have taken your tongue too, but that wasn't an option. I'm also starting to realize why you need your intestines. Every single time I eat, I literally start losing uh, with the, the, the food bars like immediately. Okay, well, I'm way stronger than I ever was before. That's going to be super useful, especially because now we are going to try to play doctor <laughs> with a wither. This is probably one of my like top three worst ideas. Well, hopefully this works. We're gonna place that there. We're just gonna place a little bit of protection there. We're gonna go one, two, three. Okie dokie. Let's see if those Ravager muscles actually work. We're gonna put them to the test. Oh, he's breaking towards me. He's breaking right towards me. He's busted out, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't good. I think in order to operate, you need to get it down to at least half hearts. I guess we can try to operate right now. Hello, sir. You want to operate? I will operate. No, that's my chest. That's my chest. Okie dokie, we're not gonna operate. Don't worry, have yourself a fantastical day. I just killed a silverfish and it, ju it just exploded in like a million different body parts. The Wither Boss is down to half health. Oh my gosh, okay, so we have a nether star that I'm stealing, a uh, spine that I'm stealing. It's just made out of soul sand. I should have known. It literally has nothing good other than the, ne the, the, the nether star. So like, I guess you could just steal the nether star, but what happens now if I kill it? Oh, wait a second, ladies and gentlemen. Now that I stole the nether star, I think it's just going to die because that's technically its heart. Wait, I wonder, does it drop another one? Let's see. Nope, it does not. So I guess you can like kind of steal the nether star without actually having to kill the wither boss. The more you know, right? But wait a second, what happens if I put the nether star as my heart? Did it work? Did it? No, I don't. I don't think it works. I don't really feel any different. I actually think I might die. Right now I'm working with a rabbit heart and like a llama heart. So we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna, we're gonna place that back. And now ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna see exactly what's inside of the Ender Dragon and if I can steal some of its abilities because I just, I either wanna sell them. Probably that's not a good idea. I think that's might be illegal. The FBI is watching this. I didn't mean that. That was just a joke. But I would really like to gain some of the powers of the Ender Dragon by putting its body parts in my body. I'm not even sure if they're gonna be able to fail, ladies and gentlemen, but we're gonna find out. The Ender Dragon is almost down to half health, ladies and gentlemen, so we can almost operate. Why can't I hit you? What uh, what, what hacks are you using right here? It's about to be operation soon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, wait, can I, can I just do it now? 
Uh, target is too healthy. No, nope. okay, so it has to be at least half health. Would you chill for two seconds? I think we did it, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's still too healthy. Okay, what about this? Too healthy? What about now? I'm oh my gosh, why are you doing this? Just let me operate and steal all your organs. It's not that bad, I swear. I did it to like 18 rabbits. That's right, come on down to Beckbro Operation. I'm a certified cookie doctor with a PhD in cookie law. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, we did it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take its spine so it can no longer move. We're gonna, wait, what are these mana reactors? Crystal synthesis? I want it. I don't even know what that is. I'm, I'm gonna have to just start putting gas bladders inside of the ender dragon. There's no way that can be healthy. What else do we have? Supernatural speed. That sounds amazing. I would love supernatural speed. Thank you, don't mind if I do. Do not mind if I even do. We're gonna take all of those. Dragon ribs are slightly reduced endurance. I don't know if that's the best thing. Supernatural detoxification. Supernatural filtration. I honestly think I'm going to replace every single one of my body parts with that of a dragon. And the dragon heart gives supernatural health, so we're, we're going to have to do it, ladies and gentlemen, in three, two, one. I'll replace it with insect muscle, so maybe it'll live. I'm not entirely sure where the ender dragon even went, because I stole pretty much all of its body parts. Well, I guess while we're waiting to see what happened to the ender dragon, I'm going to replace all of my body parts with the ender dragons. So I really hope I did this right, ladies and gentlemen. I am now extremely fast, and I think if I hit this, yep, I shoot out dragon balls and also dragon breath. The ender dragon is just completely gone. I think after I stole all of its body parts, it decided to retreat and probably just jumped into the void. Unfortunately, I'm not able to fly and I also use so much of my saturation just by walking and moving around. I guess because I have all the body parts of an ender dragon, um, that makes a little bit of sense, I guess? But we could still do this, which is amazing. And I'm also extremely powerful. So if I were to go ahead and uh, let's just say, uh, summon an iron golem, if I punch it, I honestly don't know. Okay, never mind. This thing might be actually more powerful than I am. What happens if I just punch a sheep? Oh, okay. So, yep, that makes a lot more sense now. I can be a sheep eater. Yo, that is amazing. Dritto I eat. <laughs> okay, it was worth it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys did enjoy and do want to see another episode where I try to steal the body parts of modded mobs, please go ahead and smash like. Also, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 5 million subscribers by the end of the year, so we need everybody's help. That's gonna wrap it up, though. I hope you guys did enjoy. My name is Beckbro Dragon, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, dudes.